Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your reading for May. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. And to my lovely loyal subscribers, welcome back. You guys have to bear with me with the different setups. Um, you guys know I'm away and why I'm away. Um, so just bear with me with the different setups. It'll be back to something more stable soon, I promise you. Um, but for now, I'm just getting the messages out there because when I'm not doing the videos, I don't feel in alignment. So um, let's begin. Destiny, um, the first card here, always the strongest, the first card. And it's saying, look, uh, if your plans don't go how they're meant to go, destiny has something better in hand for you here so don't worry about it okay this is god planning something better for you than maybe what you planned for yourself if things go a little bit off key towards the end of the may communication so communication is coming in for you here and union so something major is going on for you guys um with this destiny and union happening um, and I guess that's why straight away I picked up, if things didn't go to plan, Destiny has something up its sleeve for you here. If you're looking at your phone, like, my phone's dry, it's a desert. There's nobody um, planning to call me or text me. When you're looking at your phone, somebody's name might just pop up. Um, Destiny has something planned for you here. Um, I guess... You're not expecting it with the way she's looking at this phone. I'm feeling like you're not expecting this. Um, but it's something big. It's something better than what you had planned yourself. That's what I'm feeling. That's what the first thing I felt was with the first card there. Destiny has something better and hope. Hope here. Um, it just reminded me of that song from the Prince of Egypt. Uh Though hope is frail, it's hard to kill. So um, there can be miracles, it says in the song. Expect a miracle because this is what I'm... Um, we see now something may have been taken from you with one hand, but now something's going to be given to you with two hands. I don't know, that's what I'm just uh, picking up here. So let's see. Foundation and achievement. So there's got some, but somebody has been planting some seeds here, and now you're going to see those grow. It's time for karma, right? It's time for you to reap here. Um, and I guess with the hope card there, you really had to just go on blind faith, and that means seeing nothing. Some of you will be changing homes, um, moving in with somebody here, new beginnings. There's new beginnings here for you guys. So it may have been like the last couple of years have been up and down and, you know, a lot happening here. But I see these new foundations and firm foundations being built um, and new beginnings with this union. So it's like if you're meeting somebody um, and you've been through a breakup the last couple of years and then you meet somebody new, this you sort of have hindsight why that person was removed from your life to have this union here now if it's somebody you already knew i would say they're probably sort of um a twin flame connection but i don't really put them out as general readings because they're very difficult um for general readings to be understood in um but here it's saying this is what you'll get you'll get this union you'll get this new beginning all that you planned for yourself may have not worked out because God had a better plan. Okay, so just remember that and never lose hope. The world, there's so many major arcana here that this is happening for you. Doors are opening now um, where they was once closed and we see house door, um, the doors to communication opening um, the doors to union opening. So it might have been that you had these blockages the last couple of years, even five years. You may have been up and down and, you know, one minute things seem great and then they seem to be going wrong when you make plans. King of Swords. This is justice now coming your way. 
okay maybe an air sign for some but this is justice coming your way now after um a long period it didn't things wasn't going right so we see this becoming a lucky period for you guys um where things just seem to be miraculously opening okay where there wasn't opportunities before there is now opportunities um like i said it's karma it's justice it's you uh getting what you deserve here all the energy you fed into something here or you know all the healing and ascending you've done it's now time for the rewards of that the emperor this is abundance okay you're building an empire here um where in times where you felt like you know i've got nothing um i feel like money hasn't been too terrible but it might have not been that abundant we have we now see abundance of money coming in especially if you started your own business here your own empire we see that paying off now the tower it's going to be quite shocking to you um it's going to change your whole life to go from i guess maybe um you know a, an amount of money what you can manage um to a huge amount of money it's going to be life-changing amount of money or a life-changing love here okay um so this is what you can expect i would expect that you meet this person who you're going to be with long term or this business finally takes off chariot success this is taking off <laughs> this is taking off right um at a great speed with the chariot you was redirected though that's the chariot that's what it's saying take a new approach you was redirected multiple times you probably felt like i had these towers i had these moments um but it was for the better and now this hindsight is you seeing ah it went wrong there because i needed to learn how to do this in my business or i needed to learn to respect myself more in relationships love myself more um maybe you didn't have the time for a proper relationship before but now this is success and destiny again so this is also the destiny card here the chariot um coming in so there's this destined meeting here where um it's either your business it can be all with the world card i'm going to be honest it can be all it feels like a, a period of time where you feel lucky but it's sort of because you've done the work it's not actually lucky um i've seen Elon Musk posts like I work 16 hours a day seven days a week and people are still calling me lucky people haven't seen you put in the effort into this either relationship or work and they might see you as lucky because all these blessings are coming to you when all the world is going through a difficult period of time five of wands and this is uh I hate to use this word haters people being jealous of you, the people who are trying to hold you back. This can be friends and family arguing with you. Um, but we see things going your way now, right? And these hurdles being much smaller than they were in the past. So people will be jealous of your success because they haven't seen you work for it. They don't know if you cried at nighttime over this relationship and they just think, oh, well, that person's always had it easy you know and it's not the case um at least five years here you've been going through it um so it definitely seems like your time to reap the rewards here your time for this this ten of cups it's your time so don't let these sort of people i feel like this is more drama the natural challenges of or hurdles this is people jealous of you now having this this abundance i hate the word haters but it's kind of what came out to me it's like you have these people who are jealous of you um either jealous of your beauty jealous of your new home jealous of your new career whatever it is you've put this work into and it can, like i said it can be family members here some of you are getting a new car and passing a driving test here um or purchasing a new car 
purchasing a new home or something there's definitely something going on with the home so you could be revamping it decorating it um and people are jealous of your home here princess of swords and that's because they're spending too much time spying on you rather than putting into their own business or own energy here you know maybe you had something go wrong in your home a flood or something uh some sort of damage and you've rebuilt it you know on your own here and somebody's jealous romantically um this is somebody spying on you it's like if you're in a relationship with somebody who's younger than you their communication is quite immature so they might not be younger than you it can just be that they're immature here and don't know how to approach you so you guys might argue um during this period and i feel like it's better to just maybe take the high road if somebody's arguing with you here i feel like take the high road uh, because there is something that um you're not seeing here so it's not time to make these big decisions so let's just say you're about to give up on a relationship or about to give up on this business it's not time to do that um challenges and obstacles are there to help us learn grow our life never stops teaching us so never stop growing right never uh become unteachable um when we don't let don't think like okay i'm gonna stop i'm gonna give up on this business right because there's something just over the horizon there behind her that you're not seeing and it looks like the sun to me it looks like this positive energy is coming in um so don't make any harsh decisions towards the end of the month wait six of cups because where you've experienced loss God wants to replace it with something better. Okay. This is memories of love. This is um, a very strong soulmate card. Um, along with this union and this destiny here, communication is finally coming in. Things are finally changing from for you here. Um, for the haters, I mean, what can you do? Let them hate. 